Do your job. This video is brought to you by GoDaddy. Enter code HUB749 for domain name discount, HUB20 for 20% off hosting plans, and code HUBFILE for discount off of online file folder plans. Hey, Mike, I just want to know, uh, with this fight with Chris Levin, uh, obviously Chris's uh, strengths are, are standing. Are you going to want to stand with, with a guy like Chris? you feel that uh, your striking is now at the level where you're okay standing with him, or do you feel that you just don't want to take any, un, any, any unnecessary punishment and uh, kind of want to you know, jab and then take him down? Uh, you're going to see a lot of different things about me in this fight. I think my, my stand-up has grown, and um, I, I do have to stand with him a few times, you know, so... You know, if we stand, I'm going to feel comfortable standing, but, you know, I'm going to take the fight where I'm strong. You know, and he knows that. So, um, but I'm prepared to go wherever the fight goes. You know, if, it, if, it's, if it's standing, I'm definitely not going to stand in front of him. So I'm definitely going to utilize the angles, you know, make sure I'm getting the angles and stuff like that. So, um, but I feel, I do feel comfortable on my feet. But if the, if the fight goes to the ground, so be it as well. So it's wherever the fight goes, I feel comfortable wherever the fight goes. Chris Lieben, it seems that when you hit him, he goes like in berserker mode, and he kind of gets, it works out for him because he gets stronger and he, he gets a lot of shots in that surprise people. Uh, I guess knowing this, and mentally when you're in a situation like that, I guess, how, how do you keep yourself cool and calm and just waiting for openings? Uh, it's like I said before, you don't want to stand in front of him. Even when you hit him hard, uh, you don't want to stand in front of him. And... That's, that's what guys get lured into, and they get lured into his fight. That's where he wants to fight. And if you allow him to fight his fight, chances are you're going to get hit, you know, and get hit really hard right on the chin because he tends to be pinpoint on his punches there. So I'm not going to want to stand in front of him either way. If I hit him in the face really hard and he goes into berserker mode or zombie mode, I'm just not going to stand in front of him. You know, if he comes at me, I'm either going to look to take him down or utilize the angles. Now, have you been watching Chris for, for a very long time since his time uh, on the, uh, the Ultimate Fighter show, or just recently you became aware of him like a few years ago? I would take that you've known about him for a very long time. Yeah, man, I've been a fan of Chris Liebman. I like the guy. You know, and, and everybody I've met say, man, oh, man, I love Chris Liebman. You know, and, and, you know, a lot of people love him because of just of his style of fighting and, you know, just, just how he brings it inside the octagon. So I've been a fan of Chris Liebman, and... I've gone to the point where I'm, I'm fighting the guys I, I admire, you know, I, you know, and that I that I kind of want to emulate, you know, and so I'm I'm at that level, you know. Now I'm testing myself, and now I want to reestablish my goals. And in order to in order to get to where I want to go, I got to get I got to get past them, and I'm gonna get past them for sure. Once you're in there in the ring. They say, you know, game plans go out of the door once you get hit. You know, that, that's like a, a saying a lot of people say. But uh, once you're in there, I, I want to know, you know, I've always wondered when you're there face to face with your opponent, what goes through your head? And, and you know, really, there, there's always a battle in between rounds like, oh, he hit me really hard. And just let me know how, I guess, psychology comes into play and how you're able to use that to your benefit to just stay positive during a fight. Yeah, the thing, the thing about it is you, you have to be able to switch up your game plan based upon whatever happens in the fight and that comes in sparring you know you got to be able to spar and spar the right guys you know you got to spar guys that that actually have the same tendencies as the opponent that you have um, and be able to uh, go with guys that are better in the in the positions that you're going to, you know going against with your opponent so um, that's that's that it may it it just makes sense you know when you when you're battle tested inside the gym you're going to be ready when you step inside the octagon and that's that's how i am you know i i always say just like manny pacquiao says he says if you train hard the fight's easier you know that's just how it is you know i train really hard and i'm gonna go in there with confidence and wherever like i said wherever the fight goes i'm ready to go you know and um i got enough experience to be able to just go in there and 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 establish and establish my my style on him, and that's what I want to do. After this fight, finally vacation for you? Uh, you know, hey, if I if I end up if I get another fight in three months, 
I'm ready. <laughs> you know, that's how it's been. You know, it's three months, three months, three months, three months. But hey, that's that's how I, I like that. You know, I like that. I'm I'm not a guy that takes off for like two months and doesn't do anything. I'm I'm back in the gym helping all the guys here and and making sure we making sure we drill the things that we need to drill, concentrate on our weaknesses, refine our strengths and and that's that's how we're all getting better here, you know. All of our guys are kicking butt because we work. You know, we work, we work, we work, and we continue to work, even though when we're done. And that's what it's all about. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you.